Hello, welcome to the rectory once again. I hope you're all all right. We've reached Easter Day and we've got a service of readings, traditional readings for the Easter Vigil and Easter Day itself. I suggest that you follow the readings in your Bible uh, if you'd like to. So let's start our service for Easter Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him, and all ages to him. Be glory and power through every age, and for ever. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. This is the light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 5 and 26 to 31. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image, in the image of God. He created them, male and female. He created them. God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I've given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I've given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he'd made, and indeed, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Almighty and eternal God, you created the heavens and the earth, and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works, and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you've taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. 
for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Don't be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, And why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. But you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the heart of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And so I will gain glory for myself over the Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his chariot drivers. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I've gained glory for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel. And so the cloud was there with the darkness and it lit up the night. One didn't come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into a panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Oh, let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then the prophet Miriam Aaron's sister took a tambourine in her hand and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. And Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. Almighty God who heard the cry of your people, and sent your servant Moses to rescue them from slavery. In baptism, you freed us from the tyranny of sin and death. By the leading of your Spirit, bring us to our heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? 
Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear, and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Almighty God, creator of all things, you renew the earth by your spirit. Grant to your people the water of life, that they may thirst no more and live to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The hand of the Lord was on me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me to and fro among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you, and make flesh come upon you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, Come, breath from the four winds, and Breathe into these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up, our hope is gone, we are cut off. Therefore prophesy say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. Almighty God, who gives life to your people, breathe your spirit upon the church, that she may proclaim confidently the resurrection of your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Glory to you, O God in the highest. Pour your peace upon all people on earth. To you, O God, we lift our worship, our praise and our thanksgiving. Glory to you, O God in the highest, and to Jesus Christ, your only Son, 
the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of all the world. You, O Jesus, are seated at God's right hand. Hear the prayers we bring before you. Glory to you, O God in the highest. You are the Most High, with Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, yet one God, to whom we give glory, now and for evermore. Amen. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Amen. St. John Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They've taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they've laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken away my Lord, and I don't know where they've laid him. When she had said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there. But she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you've laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabunai, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went, and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Let us pray. This is the Lord's day. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. Christ, you are the light that drives out darkness and draws people to holiness. Let us make this day a hymn of praise for you. Christ our life, save us. Lord, you followed the way of suffering, even to the cross. Grant that we may die with you and come to life with you. Christ our life, save us. 
you have made us your people, so that we can serve and worship you. Let us offer you, let us offer you with joy, the sacrifice of praise. Christ our life, save us. King of glory, we look forward to the day of your coming, when we shall see your face and share in your splendour. Christ our life, save us. So we keep now a moment of quiet. We offer to God all those who are suffering because of coronavirus. We offer to God those who mourn at this time. We pray for all of our key workers, all of the people who are working to look after others at this time, for all those key workers who are helping to maintain our communities. Give them all your strength, Heavenly Father. Almighty and all-living God, we pray to you through Christ the Healer for all who suffer from coronavirus COVID-19 here in Wales and across the world. We pray too for those who mourn the loss of loved ones. Give strength to doctors, scientists, health carers and those who provide for our communities. Give wisdom to policy makers Give comfort to those in distress, the lonely and weak. Bring a sense of calm to us all in these days of uncertainty. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, who show compassion to the outcast, acceptance to the rejected, and who loved those whom no one else would love. Amen. Together, we say the words which Jesus himself taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty res resurrection of your Son over overcame the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for being with us here today uh, in the rectory. A very happy and peaceful Easter to each and every one of you. We're missing you, um, but we look forward to being with you again soon. Every blessing. Stay safe. Ta-ra.